So with Create Studio 3, we have our 3D character creator and change the clothes. But in Create Studio Pro, and now we can change the color of some of the items in our characters using um, the color change feature in Create Studio. So it's not as precise, but you can still use some of the other characters. This is a video that I created um, about a year ago, I think, and I had to mute the song. It was Pink's um, Never Gonna Stop Dancing, or Never, Never Gonna Not Dance Again. So I thought I would show you how I made those. And as you can see, I have grandma in a whole bunch of different outfits. Um, it doesn't change so great on dark and light. And sometimes the colors you get aren't the colors that you ask for, but you just play around and you can find some. So I know I have a few more here. So I, here is the original. And then I changed the skirt and the shirt and the sweater. And here I changed both the skirt and the sweater as well. Um, I can put in the description some of the color changes, but let me show you just quickly, then we'll make one. Here I changed the pink skirt to green and I made the yellow sweater to pink. And then on this one, I made it blue and then I made the, the sweater. See how it says white and it turned to pink. So that's an example of how it can be a little different. If you go in, you can see, this is the original, very clean, all the cuts. Here you can see there's a little bit of overlap, just as there is, well, this one actually looks better. If we go down, at first I thought this was a problem with the little darkness, but that actually is the shadowing that is already part of the character. And that's part of the issue is because of all this shading where you have some light that turns it a little lighter, then you have the darker part of the shadow, you're going to see that it doesn't always translate the best. Here, um, there's a little bit of blue showing through here, but if you're far away, you're not really going to see that. Um, sometimes with these kinds of characters, it was much easier to change. Um, this is the original is green. I turned one red and I turned one blue. So let's look at the blue one. Here I did two changes. So actually let's take that off and I will show you what I did. I will go to components. You have green screen, you have color correction, you have some filters, color fill, hero. There's so many different ways that you can change different colors. Color replace is what you use for this. So you can click and drag that to the character you want. With the slider on the blue, it's on. You can turn it off or you can get rid of it with the X. So for instance, if you just want to turn it off to see and then put it back on, it will save your settings so you don't lose what you had done. So I'm going to click on color replace. I'm going to add a color to replace. And if you see, there's some darker green and some lighter green. And that's why I did the two different greens. I'm going to click on the old color. This is what I want to replace. I can use the color picker. I think I did the dark one first. Then you're going to go to the new color. Click on that. And you're going to play with the tolerance. I need a little bit more because his nose still has a white mark. But if I do more, look what happened. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the saturation. 
and you can play with the brightness. But you need to look, and I'm looking to see, oh, I still had the little white mark on the other one, so I think that might be hard to get rid of. But it's in the original one, so it's not going to really disappear unless you try to get rid of the white and do a replacement. But then what's going to happen is the whites of the eyes are going to go. As you can see with this one, he has green eyes. When I turned it red, they were red and now blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce that a little bit. Let's even try that. Oh, no, because right here, the green. So you're going to play with this. What I did here is then I did the lighter green. And then I also changed that to a blue. That's more of a purple. Let's see. Well, we can try purple too. So this is what happens is sometimes it's hard to tell what. So this didn't come out quite the same, but doesn't look bad. There's a little bit here that I might play with. Still some green there. But I thought that actually I wasn't really going to show on that one. I was going to show on our little elf since it's Christmas time. This is our elf that I got in Characters. And again, if you just search, here is our little elf. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to duplicate the elf and move over. So I wanna change this one. I am going to go up, get color change. Then I'm going to click on color replace. I'm gonna to choose to get rid of the red. And then I'm going to make that green. And that one was pretty easy. And why that one is a little easier is there's not as much shading in there. Now, what I did try, let me just show you, because I did make a couple. I just need to show and show. So here, I even changed the hair, but the hair is a little bit harder to do. So let's go back to this one. If I try to change the red here, which is what I tried to do, and I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to go up here, and if I go to... I'm going to add another color. I'm going to pick the red here. Now it didn't change with the other one, so it's a little bit different. But if I tried to change that to green, it's going to change all of the stocking as well, which is okay if that's what you want. Um, and then you have a little bit of red there. But you can see, look at the lips. Those turned a little bit green because they... And if I tried to fix that, now the, the, the outfit is splotchy and I didn't get any effect on that. So why would I do that? It didn't really add any value to it. So I'm going to delete this replacement because I didn't want to do that. Now let's look at the hair like I did with this one. You can still see the orange. It's not easy to change those lighter colors. So let's look at this one and let's add another, add a color to replace. I'm going to choose. You can see there's yellow and there's a darker yellow and there's orange. So not only is it hard to change lighter colors and really darker colors, when it has so many in a picture, it's really even harder than that. 
So here, let's say we're going to make the hair more of a brownish type. I don't know. Let's see. Actually, I might like that one better than the pink. But see how it also changed part of the skin because the tolerance is too high. So when I bring the tolerance down, I don't know if that was like that before. I didn't look as closely. Then you can play around with the saturation. But then look at what it does over here. So you don't want that there. And then you look and I'm not so sure that that made a difference. You can change with the brightness. But now we see some of that. So you really have to play around with these. And sometimes it's hard to do more than one color. So here, I didn't even try to get too refined on that. Um, but you can see that I do still have some of the splotchiness. But when they're far away in an image, it doesn't make a huge difference, I don't think, because if there's actions going on, you're not really going to see that. But it is one more option that you have to to um, mix up some of your characters that aren't part of the 3D creator, and you can make different versions that maybe there's a bunch of elves, a bunch of grandmas in the background, some characters, um, or a bunch of elves in the background, and people aren't really going to see that there's a little bit of splotchiness, a little red right here that shows through, but I don't think that's going to, right here there's a little bit, so it wouldn't pass a an art test, but you're not really going to see it. So that's just another way that you can play around with some color in your characters. I really liked Grandma. I think she she was singing away with with pink. So I hope that helps and helps you make some other kinds of um, characters that we can't do with the character creator. Have fun.